Hello again and welcome to the next uh, chapter, Adding Lines. So we've got our character here and um, what I've done is I've changed the self illumination to 17 and I'm going to be changing this to find edges so we can focus on the old polyflow. For this tutorial we're mostly just going to be focusing on the face but what you're going to learn here can be used on anything else really, it doesn't even have to be a character if you want to sort of add lines or blend lines. So we're just going to have a good look here. Select the head, go down to editable poly, and select a surface. So for this example I'm just going to hit control and add just kind of around the eyelid here yeah. and if you've sort of clicked on something you didn't want to select just click alternate click to remove it Alrighty, so we're just going to scroll down to our smoothing groups. Now, everything on this face is selected on one, but I'm just going to change what's selected to two and remove one, like so, and then hit render. So, through the magic of editing, I'm we're a bit we skipped ahead from the rendering process to look at our character. And as you can see here, we've now got this outline around the areas that we changed the smoothing group. Uh, so that is almost kind of there, but what about if you want to sort of remove some lines? So to do that, we're going to blend the smoothing groups. So around the areas you want to remove it, we start to click around here like so so our first moving groups were on two so I'm gonna select one and two together like so and as you can see here it's blended a bit so now we're just going to render this again and see what that looks like. Okay, and here we are again. So as you can see, it's blended it, except there's a little part there which I didn't correctly blend. So with this process, it's going to be a constant back and forth of rechecking things, testing your renders, seeing where your lines are going. Uh, until you get sort of the uh, required results. So a way of helping to check with this is to whoops, a daisy. Click on a surface and check in the smoothing groups about where it's been allocated to. So there we go. So that one needed a bit of a blend and there's the tiny little bit over here that's going to need a bit of a blend as well like so so going to check over here that's blended a bit there Good, so smoothing groups two, there's the outline, it blends to smoothing group one and two until the upper eyelid, which is, becomes just one. So that's how you blend it. Let's see how that looks now. 
Okay, and welcome back. And yeah, you can see how we've done that little bit of a line there. Now, if you wanted to sort of test this um, when you smoothed your character, you need to make sure that smoothing groups is selected or else it's not going to be visible. So let's just render that again. Okay, so here we go. So now that's much, much smoother. Um, as you can probably notice there, that could be cleaned up and added some extra lines going up there, like so. So this is going to be a very long process, and what I would highly recommend you doing is test out your lines while you're modeling your character and which would actually sort of like help you um, keep your character sort of stylized and make sure that your line work complements the kind of look you really want to go with with the model. In fact even uh, model um, vertices um, to be there for the lines you want there to be on the model. Uh, so say for example over here while I was modeling it I deliberately model these vertices here so I could add a extra wrinkle in the face around the jowls here these edges here as well would be smoothed smoothing grouped to sort of create the, um, the facial detail that I wanted okay so this would be a long process um, but when it's finally done it should look a little bit something like this Ta-da! Uh, as you can see, I've added smoothing groups to the rest of the body. The creases in the clothing there. Uh, biceps, rib cage, chest, uh, neck muscles, and the rest of the face there. So, with all these smoothing groups, it will look like this. Okay, so this is an unsmoothed mesh. And now to go into a little bit more detail about smoothing groups and how basically you don't want to rely on smoothing groups using one group all the time. You sort of need to mix up the numbering systems so you have unique lines all the time. So just to elaborate a bit more. So this has so this uh, the nose has twenty three, while the eyelid part is using um, a blending of fifteen. So you really sort of have to mix up these numbers, or else you're going to have um, the lines not working the way that you want them to, pretty much. So this area here is using a smoothing group of three while part of the nose is actually also using a blending of three while the edge of the nose here is using 23 it's a tricky thing to explain so hopefully you should see a little diagram in front of you now better, better explaining it So welcome back. Now what I'm going to do now is add in the turbo smooth again and add the smoothing groups here again. So as you can see there's a definite difference going on in the model of with and without. And finally hit render again. So there you have it. Adding extra lines onto your character model in final tune. I'll thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next tutorial.